back over here in Kingfisher. Uh, we're gonna dig some footings. I think they're gonna put uh, screw piers or helical auger piers, whatever you wanna call it. I think they're gonna put those in over here. I don't think they've put them in yet. Uh, so maybe they're gonna let us dig the footing and then we'll uh, come back and They'll come back and put those in maybe after the footing's dug out. I don't know for sure how that works. I know we've done jobs before where the piers was already put in, so. Uh, I think we're digging 18 inches wide. This is another school. Uh, do a lot of those. Anyway, we're going to get rolling here in a minute. So this is, uh, they're going to, we're going to dig these uh, footings and then they're gonna come in here and drill. <laughs> this is a little test hole I came over here and dug one day. They, they had a guy come out here with a probe and he drove it in the ground with the, you know, the little weight they drop, whatever. Anyway, we should be pretty close to grade there, I think. We had this down to grade once. be a real simple dig now the way they're doing it uh, we should make a lot of progress today I think and uh,
the corner here and take off digging. coming in tomorrow to start putting in the helicals or the screwed in anchors, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what they call them. They're screwed in piers, what they are. So. But this, this looks like we're going to be able to make pretty good time on this. Nice and wet. I'd rather have it a little bit wet than dry. This has kind of got some uh, pretty sticky clay mixed with some sandier dirt. Almost like a topsoil, maybe, but. It's gonna make a, it'll make a good ditch, I think. Won't be too bad. If it's got to do with digging dirt, pushing dirt, or anything to do with dirt, I'm pretty usually pretty happy with it. So, got some spots in there that are a little bit tight, so we're gonna have to not gonna be able to take down. See, it's not sticking together real, real, real good. So we we'll just have to keep easing down. Getting shorter already, seem like we're getting uh, less hours of daylight, so summer's kind of winding down finally. Good. Uh, 
half inch on a footing is pretty darn close. teeth on a video a while back had some people ask if you can sharpen them. What I mean by sharp teeth, they don't actually look sharp, but they need to be wider than the bucket by just a little bit. And when they when teeth get wore out, especially the corner teeth or the edges, they wear out first. You can rotate them, you can put one on one side, flip them, you know, flip them around get a better edge but you always want these teeth a little wider than the bucket that gives your bucket clearance to dig um, you know back when I first started digging I didn't quite understand how it all worked but it took me a while to kind of figure it out but I used to like my side cutters to be you know right at the edge of the tooth and I figured out that if you if you try to dig like that going to end up with the uh, side cutters are going to be busting the top of the ditch out all the time. So you actually want your, you actually want a little bit wider on your teeth that gives your side cutters room to come out of the hole without busting the top off of it. So, and uh, this, like I say, this dirt here has got a little bit of loose stuff in it that's not really binding so it's but it's still pretty good dirt. It's, it's probably better than a lot of people get to mess with. The one thing I've learned is the narrower your bucket, the harder it is to get dirt in it, which is kind of a common sense thing. You can actually dig faster with a little bit wider bucket than when you start getting down to 18 inch, under 18 inches. It's real hard to get a bucket full every time if you're if you're trying to make a nice footing. Now if you're just hogging dirt or just you know digging a rough ditch, you can get a bucket full. But like I say, it's a little harder to make a clean ditch with a, with a narrow bucket. I hate digging with a 12 inch bucket. Sixteen, about the same as eighteen. It's, it's you know, just uh, you kind of watch that dirt. It, it uses the sidewalls to load into the bucket, but if you got a wider bucket, it'll actually fall in the middle pretty good, so. A lot of times it's trying to go around the bucket instead of in it. There again, that's why you need a little extra clearance, because there's always a little bit of dirt that comes around the edges of the bucket. Now, if you really want to make it look neat, you come back in on your last pass and lean over Put a little side pressure on it and use your side cutter to kind of clean that up. And 
then uh, use the bottom of your bucket to make the final pass. And we should be about grade right there. Should be close. out here kingfisher job day two uh, it's after lunch we've been digging this morning yesterday i think i mentioned that the uh, guys are supposed to come out here and put in some steel uh, uh, piers or uh, they're like an auger drill in they drill them into the dirt down to hard rock and then they I think they might weld a plate on top of them or something and they're supposed to be here they're supposed to be here today I don't know why they're not here no 
Somebody knows. Apparently, uh, well, I guess it's obvious they're not here, but anyway, still dealing with this this crummy dirt. This stuff's got a lot of topsoil in it, mixed in it. Um, it's, that's one reason they're done piers. It's just not very good soil. It's really tough to get a nice edge on a footing. I've been struggling to find something that works. Uh, one thing I found that works a little bit better is to try to widen the top of it out a little bit as you dig it, which isn't really an ideal way to dig a footing, but it seems to work better if I do it that way. And what I do is I just try to scratch down inches I'll, I'll kind of alternate maybe an inch to one side and a half inch or an inch to the other side for the first six inches and then it seems to seems to be working pretty well um, you know a lot of a lot of guys will just say you got bad dirt you can't dig a good footing The way I look at it, um, if you give up that easy, you're never going to make a good footing digger. You've got to figure out what works, and it's taking <laughs> it's taking me a little bit longer on this one than, than normal. Now I understand if you're digging in rocks and sand, nothing's going to stand up. But I'll tell you what, this dirt right here plow through it you're going to end up with a four foot wide top and it's got chunks of hard stuff in it it's got topsoil in it it's just a mixture of some really really bad types of soil all mixed together packed in here it's packed pretty tight i mean it's i think compaction on it's really good uh, but like i say you just doesn't really have good, it's, it's not sticking together, I guess you'd call that cohesion. I know that's a big word for a guy like me, but... Um, you'll, you'll be moving along here and you'll find some good stuff. You'll be moving along here and you'll find a big old chunk of red clay. That, that's about as hard as a rock. Try to move it out of there, it uh, busts the side though. So like I say, I'm just kind of alternating for the first six inches, alternating a little bit wider. And the funny thing about it is you can't see it. I mean, it, there's not enough, you're not moving enough dirt to really see the difference in width. But but it just gives your dirt a little a little more room to move around and get out of the hole. Another thing that might help would be wider teeth, but really I don't know that wider teeth would work because this soil seems to be a little bit springy and it, I think after you dig through it, it may be pushing in a little bit on the side. So even if you use wider teeth and the ditch gets narrower as you dig deeper, See, there's a stick in it right there. You can't do a heck of a lot with a stick. But anyway, I'm not real happy with this stuff. Let's see if I can pull that stick out of there without it busting the side off too much. Yeah. Tree root, what that is. But anyway, it's uh, it's an interesting. It's been interesting trying to get it to work. And I think I finally figured it out. I mean, this this section here is working pretty good. The dirt's pretty consistent all the way around here. It's all crappy all the way around. So there's not like a good section. And you can see right there, I got a little bit carried away. It's starting to crumble. It just, it just doesn't work too well. That's part of digging footings is figuring
figuring out what works really good, what doesn't work, and understanding that you got to adjust your techniques to make some dirt look good. You can't treat it all the same. out what works and I understand you can't just be super gentle and that's one reason uh, I mean you got to dig it so you got to use force but that's one reason I kind of started trying to widen that top six inches out is the stuff that's down under it it likes to come out in chunks it likes to come out nasty by widening out the top, I can still make some progress. I can make it. I can make a bucket full without uh, busting the sides off the top. That's when you can do that. You're making progress. You're done good. Uh, the more full buckets you can get, the better. Uh, you know, I told you yesterday. I think that. You're not always going to get a full bucket, uh, especially on the first six inches, but you should be able to finally start getting some, hopefully at some point. So, I'm hoping our schedule doesn't get blown up because the guys that are supposed to be out here putting beers in aren't here. said they could put in 24 a day. I think they're putting one every 12 feet. We dug enough yesterday so that they would be able to put in 24 of them. And uh, they didn't show up. So. I've slowed down just a bit. Don't tell nobody. Maybe they won't notice. But there's no need in just humping as fast as you can out here if, if you're going to wind up waiting on these guys or, you know, we don't want to have too much ditch open and not be able to get steel in it and get it concrete in it. So, anyway. Well, we've got some little three by three footings in here that are not real fun to dig but one of the things I know there's some backhoe guys that like the low profile buckets and what I mean by that is they're shorter from front to back but the buckets I use have got a really long flat well I've got one low profile I've got a two foot that's low profile and I don't like it because when you're digging these real small three by three piers, you can't get, you, you can't reach down in and cut a straight sidewall as easy with the, with the low profile buckets. The long, these longer buckets, they got a little more reach. So you can kind of reach down in a three foot by three foot footing and you can punch the sides down straight dig a flat bottom you don't really you don't get to curl your bucket but the thing is you can you can do a better job of uh, punching them out now if they weren't connected to a footing it would be pretty hard to get the dirt out of them footing on this corner here. I think I'm going to go ahead and punch this one out. Now, what the weird thing is, is when they, when they laid them out, they, the squares, well, let me start with this. This, this section of footing is on an angle. So it angles from in, in the building to out, outside the building. So we've actually just an offset, but the way they laid out the spot footings is they're square, they're laid out square with the building, 
So I kind of have to set it at a different angle to get those punched out square. It's just a little bit different. Pretty uneventful day, just been digging. Um, you can see here I'm kind of punching out a three by three. And you can kind of get some of that dirt to stay in the bucket. You can't curl it. Tobacco guys that like the low profile buckets, I'm just not really a big fan of them. I think this works. These. We got a little section here. This is our last section of 18 inch footing for a little bit. We're going to change to a two foot. The chalk's been wore out. We've been driving through here all in dirt. So. But basically, I'm just going to connect this. I just got to connect the flag to this ditch. So, we finish this little section, and I'm going to put a two foot bucket on. We're going to keep on digging. You can see the, uh, the auger piers, or what I think they call them, helicals, or whatever. But you can see them, they're laying them out in the ditch over here. And maybe we'll get to watch them. Drill a couple in. I don't know if we get to or not. They did make it out here today. So these guys are uh, drilling. See them over there drilling these anchors in or these uh, piers, steel piers. Uh, I think they've got a pressure gauge in the machine that tells them how many. They probably calibrated it to where it tells them how many pounds of torque they have on them. And on this side, they're probably adding some extensions, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but they have drilled in a whole bunch of these out here. I don't know if. Uh, they've got to go back and drill more. It looks like they've got some of uh, some of them are kind of sticking up out of the ground. Some of them are down in the down in the ground. So looks like some pretty heavy duty pipe. This is not the typical way we do the <laughs> foundations. A lot of times they're, they pour a concrete pier down, they drill them, put rebar in them. I mean, to me, these would not be quite as strong, but I guess if uh, I guess if you're just marginal. They work okay. But they've added another extension on that one, it looks like, and they're drilling it in. So we're uh, digging two foot wide now. easier going holding up better it's amazing what a different bucket can do but that's really a pretty simple system there I mean if 
person had a skid steer and that auger. Uh, be a pretty easy deal to probably get into doing that type of work. I can say this, I think it's the company's called Rimjack or something like that. They they specialize in uh, foundation repair a lot of it and uh, they'll go in and drive in a lot of times I think they use hydraulic jacks and they use pipe and they push it down underneath the house that's settled and they push it back up the level and then they weld off their pipe to the foundation They've actually sunk another one in that hole. Well, these guys are actually pretty quick, unless they've got to go back and do something else. I don't know. I mean. it might take them a while to put them in but uh, pretty quick deal I'm sure that's a lot cheaper than buying concrete and rebar and uh, drilling pier for the pier truck back again tomorrow maybe maybe the next day too I don't know for sure um, they may need to hold off a day to get some of this board before we can finish digging it I don't know I think we're gonna be pretty close to that point tomorrow or, uh, but we still got piers in the middle of this to dig out got uh, quite a bit to do here really. We've got a lot to do. I would guess I've probably got another two and a half, maybe three days on this one because all of this, I've got a big safe room that digs out here. We're digging parts of it but we can't dig it all until they get they don't want to pump this, so they're going to have to have access with the trucks. They need to build back the concrete trucks in, so.
whole truck load of them things, they're just about to use them all up. So. About their rig is they've got an extended extension on their uh, auger boom or their auger so they can they don't have to be right on the edge of the ditch with their machine. That works out pretty well. I basically just got to guide it in straight as I can and, until they hit something hard enough to. Whatever pressure they're supposed to hit. they're going to have uh, rod busters will be out here tomorrow probably starting to tie steel and then uh, we'll be ready to pour some footings probably by the following day. This dirt's super soft on this side. I don't, uh, it's, there's a lot of feel over here. I mean this used to slope off down toward that football stadium. Deal. Um, I think it is anyway. 